Today I'm going to show you how you can install recovery on your Jadu 4 black top box. If you're using Jadu 4 black top box and it is showing you red light on the box without any display or your update did not work say update aborted then this method will help you. Once you have the mail from Jadu TV open your mail you have received from support. Now you have multiple files available in this email. What you are supposed to do is click on the file link and click on download. One by one download all the files available in the email. The last file is same as you have in the update so if you have already tried the update on your box you can copy the same file into this and no need to download it again. Once you have all the files downloaded completely go to my computer and open the downloads folder. Download path may vary depending on your browser. So we have it over here in the download folders as you can see I have all my files downloaded in the folder now I'm going to choose all of them holding the control button and selecting all these files now I have selected all the files and I'm going to right click on them and going to copy these now once copied I would like you to go back to my computer and connect the SD card make sure it only supports the SD card a big one normally used in cameras and you might need a card reader in order to connect it into your computer so once you have SD card connected into your computer right click on your SD card drive and choose format make sure you do not have any kind of important data in your SD card like images or any files if you do please make sure before formatting the SD card copy all those files into your computer somewhere now hit the start button in order to start the format of the SD card once the format is complete you will get an OK button, press the OK button and close the format window. Now open your SD card drive and right click anywhere and choose paste. It will start copying all the files we have downloaded and copied from your download folder. Once your files are completely downloaded, go back to your my computer, right click on your drive again and choose eject. It will safely eject your SD card from the computer system. Now you can take it out from your computer. Now the second step of the process will start over here. What you are supposed to do is take this SD card and go and connect it into your Jadu box. You have a space on the front side of the Jadu box where you can connect the SD card. Once your SD card is connected into your Jadu, please take the power out of the Jadu box. As you can see in the video, I'm taking the power out of the Jadu box. Now connect the power while the SD card is connected into your Jadu and same time start holding the button on the front side. On the front side of the Jadu box you do have this black button. Now as you can see I'm connecting the power and same time I have start holding the power button on the front side of the box. Now after this you will notice the power light on the box will start blinking in between green and red. After a few seconds the light will get stable. Once the light will get stable you are free to release the button. Now you can release the button and sit down. Now the screen will stay blank for around about 3 to 5 minutes. After the blank screen you will see firmware recovery started on your box. As you can see on the screen my box has started recovering firmware. Now it will take few more minutes. You have nothing to do while it is updating the firmware. After the firmware is completed it will reboot itself and take you to the home page of the Jadu box. Now you are free to take your SD card out of the Jadu box and start using the box. You can connect it into the internet and go and watch your channels. Thank you for watching Jadu.